Instagram with Halo on. <laughs> and this your boy Juice. And, and we, we back, back at it again, again with another, another freaking, freaking bag. Bag. Why he's so giggly right now, y'all? I'm but thinking about some stuff. Man. We back at it again, you guys. Thank you guys for 700 subs. Man, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all so, 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 so much. We really love you guys. We appreciate y'all so much. But um, before we even get into this video, y'all, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you join the family. Make sure you press that notification bell so that you don't miss a banger because... <laughs> because... We finna come back with the bangers, okay? Well, we really back with the bangers, but you know what I'm saying. So, basically, today's video is just gonna be an update on us staying together for nine months. Nine months. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's October. Yeah, so this is basically gonna be a ninth month. A nine update. month update on living together. Yeah, so <laughs> I did. But anyway, y'all, so. We're not going to prolong the intro or nothing like that. We just really appreciate you guys, everybody that support us. We really love you guys. And without further ado, we're going to get straight into the So, video. basically, we're just going to be telling y'all, like, our experience and our appointments and, like, just our experience on staying together, period, for the ones that don't stay with their boyfriend or girlfriend or the ones that's thinking about staying Moving with in them, on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's basically just going to be an update and a couple tips, you know what I'm saying? Not going to be a super long video, but... We just want to update you guys and let you guys know how we've been doing. So, you can go first. No, go ahead. Go first. You've been okay, so I'm going to go first so that he can finish the video off. So, I won't talk out of it. But, um, <laughs> so, the first thing I want to say is that it's not easy. It's not easy as people make it seem. It's not easy as it looks, you know. It's fun. You know, you do what you want. And you have freedom and stuff like that. But, it's definitely not easy, you know. Like, you, you do what you space. want. space. <laughs> So you need space and you need time alone, you know, stuff like that. So basically you just still want to spend time by yourself and still have, you know, self care. Word? You self. know, yeah, self care yeah. when you're in a relationship and you're staying with your significant other or whatever, you know, you don't wanna just put your all into that person, you know what I'm saying? But um it is important to still even though you're living together, it is still important to like Go on dates and you know, like, still enjoy each other outside of the house because being inside the house can drive you crazy. Like, honestly, like, honestly, right? It can really drive you crazy. So, that's really that. I mean, it's a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? And these nine months have been like challenging, they have been some of them have been good, you know, like, most of them really been good, but you know, you always have your days, you know what I'm saying? And it hasn't been easy for us. Like, we're here now and we're making it, but I'm not going to lie. It hasn't been easy. Like, it's been hard, you know? It's hard as we make it, though. Yeah. It's hard. It really has been, like, it's hard as we make it. But I feel like the most important, really and truly, it's not easy, but just like I carry myself in life, it's really as hard as you make it. Like, if you don't do the small things, like, go on dates or do certain things, and me personally, I feel like the biggest thing in to stand with your significant other is giving each other personal space, allowing each other to do certain things that they just, you know, that you just enjoy doing as an individual, like not being up under each other or whatever the case is. I just feel like that's the most important part to staying with somebody, so learning your person, growing with that person, because you really never know how somebody is or. You know, anything of that nature until you really move with them. Like, when you stay with somebody, you see, you meet a whole new person from a person that you, you know, thought you knew. And that's not saying, like, everything be bad, but it's just like you learn a lot of different things staying with somebody. And then you got to stay consistent as far as work, as far as, like, a lot of different things. Like, it's just, it's, it could be an up and down thing, but it's really a fun thing. It's really a thing, me personally, I love, I enjoy. Like she said, you can do what you want. Uh, <laughs> you can do what you want. Um, you can come and go as you please. Another thing that I want to like touch bases on is like bills. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, I'm gonna just say it like this: when you move into an apartment, make sure you move into one that you like. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. We were like. Not rushed, but we had to move sooner than we. we yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was planned, but it just happened quicker than we planned it. 
tap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but this was in the plan. Like we were actually planning to move, and then we just ended up moving here because it's the fast thing we could get because of what was going on at the time. Yeah, <laughs> like we say. literally filled out the application and got approved. Like and then moved in ASAP, the next day, and we moved in the next day. Like it was just everything was just so fast. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like you don't see the only thing we have decorated around here is our YouTube. Like we don't yeah, decorate around here. Stuff. You know, we keep food in here. We got a bed. We got a couch. We got TV. Basically, stuff that we you, got a shower. Yeah. Like you know, basically just you know, we getting by. Honestly, like and we doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not a bad apartment complex, but it's just not somewhere that we just you know we, we need more settle space. In, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. like, it's just not like I don't know if y'all can see this over here in this corner right back here by this window, but that's like business stuff. It's like a printer and vinyl um, and everything like that. And it's just on the floor, you know what I'm saying? It's just like no space in here, you know what I'm saying? It's just stuff is just everywhere. And it's just somewhere that we had to go like as soon as possible. And I'm not gonna lie, like the experience was great. I mean, I love being in my own spot, but I definitely am looking for more, you know what I'm saying? Like we are definitely striving for more, like. But I said like on the bills part, make sure you get somewhere that you wanna stay because it's gonna feel so weird paying people money for somewhere that you don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? Just like... Especially if it's on my way I don't know, but wrong. you know what I'm saying? Like, and then out here, the people are like so rude. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like we paying them for them, but it's just the fact that like, oh, your attitude, I didn't want to give you my money. And then that's that not understanding. I got to stay here. You. you know what I'm saying? So Make sure whenever you move, wherever you move, the people in the office are actually understanding. Because... You know, people can give you false reads or people can give you, you know what I'm saying, a false first impression. Because, like, at first, you know, they seem like they whatever, whatever, whatever. And then when you get in here, you actually have a problem or something's always wrong and you confront them about it. It's like they their, their understanding is short. Out here where we stay, their understanding is short. And they don't, I don't know, they just don't take care of stuff like they like it needs to be taken care of. And that's the thing. That's one of the updates on our nine months because, like, it's so much in here that we have told them that needs to be fixed and just a lot of stuff and nobody has came to fix it. Like, or if they do come, they come like a week later, you know, they take their time and plus they only have one maintenance man out here, y'all. One. He would have, but that's stuff that, again, that's stuff that you don't know or you wouldn't really be able to tell until you actually moved in and you settled. And then and you can't like just move because you don't like it because then you have to go through the process of breaking your lease or getting evicted if you don't pay your rent and stuff like that. You know, just make sure that you're ready for the move when you move. You know what I'm saying? It's not... I'm not gonna, it's not as hard as some people make it seem, but it's not as easy as others make it seem also. So... I would just say, honestly, one of my biggest tips would be to keep God first because I'm not going to lie, in our relationship, God definitely comes first. And that's why we stay so blessed. And I'm just so honored. Like, I just, <laughs> bro, I'm really blessed. Like, we are. I'm not going to lie. So, look, real fast, let me just run y'all down the difference. Because like she said, it's not as hard as people make it seem to be. Well, it's not as hard as people make it out to be. It's as hard as you make it out to be yourself. And let me explain the difference. So, like, all right, if you move with your significant other and y'all take care of business and y'all do, like, little things and take care of each other, give each other space, go on dates, stay open to different things, different ideas, new experiences and all that, then I'm not going to lie, you'll still have your bumps in the road because that's what couples do. That's what humans do. We're not robots. Right. So, like, that's, that, that's, just, that's just what comes with the territory of being with, you know, somebody else. Now, like, you should move in young, or you shouldn't do this, or you shouldn't do that. Honestly speaking, all the problems that we've had, we put on ourselves. Like, we really didn't know each other like we thought we knew each other. Or, you know, just a lot of different things that we had to just, you know, learn to grow on each other some more. I had to learn different things about her. She had to learn different things about me. So, all the problems that we had, like I said, we brought those problems onto upon ourselves. They have problems that people thought we was going to have because we young. Like, I just recently turned turned oh 20. Gosh. What's today? The 20? Whatever. Uh, we're young, and a lot of people thought we couldn't do it or we weren't going to be able to do it because of our age. But don't let that intimidate you or nothing like that. If you're able to take care of your, your business and you responsible and all the other stuff, then you should be good. But Only, yeah, the difference. I would say don't let nobody tell you nothing. Like, I'm not saying don't take advice and stuff like that because, you know, some of the advice that my mama gave me and my parents, like, the people around me, some of the advice that they gave me, like, I took some of it, but... You know, most of it is just, like, not wanting you to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that came from my parents, but 
I talked to people before I moved, and a lot of people just, it was just a, a thing of not wanting to see you do better than them. You know what I'm saying? Not wanting to see you move forward in life, but you just can't listen to people. If you listen to people, you'll be in the same place forever because nobody wants to see nobody doing better than them. Well, I'm not one of those type of people. I will help you. Like, I will give you the advice that you need. Like, no, I'm literally getting, giving y'all advice that y'all need, basically. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like... Oh, you young, so don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because some people are in situations where they have to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's basically that. Um, What I would say about our update is that um, I'm loving it here. You know what I'm saying? It's great. Like, we've been doing awesome. Um, We haven't had many problems. You know what I'm saying? We've really been chilling, talking to each other more, understanding each other more. You know, that's really what it's all about. Um... I don't know. I'm really just growing to know him more and just to understand him more. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by we're really doing good. But honestly, we're really ready to move. I'm not going to lie. Um, That's part of our update. We're really ready to move. We're not going to say too, too, too much about it. But, but we gone, baby. So that's all I have to say, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that y'all um enjoy my tips, enjoy my advice, and enjoy my side of the update because, you know, that's what I have for you guys. So basically, I think we both touch base. I know for sure, I think, you know, you think of stuff maybe off video, but uh, for the most part, I think I went over like the biggest things, the biggest tips and points that you really need to move. Oh, really to piggyback on what she said, um, getting advice from people, you you know, it's good to take advice because it's good to be a sponge, you know, to suck up as much as you can, but it's some advice you take and some you filter out, like. Some stuff, like she said, could be just not wanting you to move forward and do better. Or not want you to... Because, like, honestly, like, older people feel like you moving too fast because you're young. Which we got that a lot. And it wasn't that. It was just, you know, some other stuff. Anyway, man, I really didn't touch based on everything. I feel like she have. I feel like we got we, we gave her some great advice. So, preferably, or hopefully, y'all take our advice. Yeah, so basically, I would just say conquer your fears. Like... Go out and do it if you want to do it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it because you can do it, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video, that was our tips, advice, and update. We really love you guys. We hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you have subscribed already. Make sure you follow our social media accounts. I will put them in the description below. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you keep in touch with us. By the way, we just made a little TikTok. We just made a TikTok. We just made a TikTok account, y'all. And the name is MDTV underscore underscore. Y'all make sure y'all go follow that in the description. Also, make sure y'all go follow our TikTok content. It's coming very soon. We really love you guys. We appreciate everything that y'all do. We appreciate all the subscribers. We appreciate all the Love on the road to 800 like, right now, man. We on the road to 800 subs, y'all. And by December, we need to be at a thousand. Like, it's just guaranteed we have to be at a thousand because we're gonna work to get that. And we need you guys to support, support, support. We love you guys, and we'll see y'all in the next video.